focus of this lesson is teaching analytical thinking skills. The teacher leads the class through an exercise developed by Stella Ting Tumi called Describe, Interpret, Evaluate, or See, Think, Feel. Today we will try a new way to look at things we don't know about. First, we will look at a picture and say only what we see. Let's use this photo as an example. Ew. Remember, we are not saying how we feel yet, only what we see. I see a big, long, what's that thing? It's an insect. Right. What else do you see? I see a woman. OK. Anyone else? Her eyes are closed. OK. There is another big insect on her arm. Good. Next, we will guess why it is happening. Can anyone guess? Mario? Maybe she likes to play with insects. Maybe the insects are not real. Good guesses. Finally, we can say how we feel. Yes? I'm happy because the insects are not on me. OK. I think she is beautiful and the insects are ugly. I want to know what is really happening. Well, she is a scientist. Some of the insects are real and some are not. Now look at this picture and talk to your classmates. Remember, first only tell them what you see. What do you see? I see a woman and a man. They are on the dirt. Maybe they are playing baseball. OK, let's stop here. Who wants to tell us their guesses? Yes. I think they are playing a game. Maybe they're having fun. OK. Yes. I think they're racing. I don't like running. It's too hot. Oh, is that your opinion? I guess so, yes. Was it hard to guess and not give your opinion? Yeah. OK. Now I would like you to remember the first time you met someone from another culture. Who has an example? I remember the first time I met someone from the United States. What did you think at first? I thought she was very strange. OK, now think about what we did today with the first picture. How was that the same? Yes. Well, at first I thought the woman with the insects was strange. OK. Yes, but then we talked only about the things we saw. Yes. And then we talked about maybe why she looked that way. Good. We waited to tell our feelings after all that. Yeah, you see, so we can do the same thing when we meet people from a different culture. Yes, we can stop and only look. Then we could think about why. Finally, what did we do? We gave our opinion how we feel. Right. Do you think how you feel was different after you first asked what and why? Yeah, like in the baseball picture. At first I thought, ew, now I think it looks fun. Yes. I think we need to try to understand first. Then we can say how we feel about it. The students move through the process of carefully examining an event before they form an opinion about it. The teacher compares this process to intercultural contact and encourages thoughtful reflection on cultural differences. Next time, join us for Unit 8. We will teach visual literacy 